have a look at a few ads from Facebook's archive. We've got a handful of examples with pretty much two key messages. Vote Dem, even if you're Republican, or stay away from the election. Gotta send a message. Trump failing us. Who can bring this country back together? Both sides are a mess. If you aren't helping, don't show up. I hope folks go for this. Seems like the only thing that can save true conservatives. You'd say most likely this should have come from disgruntled conservatives. The pages with the ads have been renamed. You can't find them on the website now. Well, however, the archive allows us to see who bought the ads. American Engagement Technologies. You can see it right there run by a former Barack Obama official. These were the same guys who manipulated the 2017 Senate race in Alabama by taking advantage of a fake botnet. Back then, they were lying when they said they knew it was Russian. Eventually, though, they admitted they had no idea where the bots originated. By the way, the cash for that covert online scheme came from billionaire LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman. He ended up apologizing for the Democrat affair that is still being investigated. I find the tactics that have been recently reported highly disturbing. For that reason, I am embarrassed by my failure to track AET, the organization I did support, more diligently, as it made its own decisions to perhaps fund projects that I would reject. The information is concerning. The impact it had on the election is something that's significant for us to explore, and we'll go from there. So what exactly happened in Alabama? Democrats have been accused of using an army of bots to make it seem the infamous Russian online menace was backing their Republican rival. He ended up losing the vote, by the way. Was that partially due to the false flag op? That's yet to be determined. However, back when the campaign was in full swing, the Democrats and some of the media kept going on about how Kremlin Internet villains were trying to steal their vote. Fun fact, the masterminds of this false flag scheme once portrayed themselves as activists trying to rid the U.S. elections of online disinformation. One group once even helped release a bombshell report on Russian meddling for the Senate. Well, before and during the 2018 midterms, we heard plenty of stories about the grave threat of another round of Kremlin meddling. Six months from the midterms, Russia is again trying to disrupt our elections. Russia is already meddling in the midterm election. I think we should be absolutely prepared to assume that they will try to interfere in all 50 states. We will not tolerate Russian interference in our 2018 elections. Well, if we go back to that Facebook archive and the Democrat paid ads, take the Russians completely out of the equation, and what you still have is dirty campaign gains online. Did someone say they've had enough of misleading information? Ilya Petrenko, well, it has been two years since U.S. intelligence agencies released the combined report accusing Russia of meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Now, that probe was led by the then director of national intelligence, James Clapper. At a recent conference, Clapper was challenged on why the evidence on which that document was based has never been made public. Uh, your superiors were hell-bent on finding ways to blame Trump's victory on the Russians. Do you think that you found a lot of things that weren't really there? The forensic evidence was overwhelming about what the Russians had done. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind whatsoever. We're, we are pretty sure we know or knew at the time how WikiLeaks got those emails. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go into the technical yeah. details here about why we believe that. You have a duty. You have a duty to confess to that as well as to your to what? Confess to the fact that you've been distorting no, the evidence. I, I don't confess to The that. intelligence community assessment was that. without evidence. Hey, Ray. I, I, do, Ray, I do not confess to that. When we spoke to the former CIA officer, you could hear asking uh, those questions just out of shot. Ray McGovern claims that the forensics that Clapper referred to have never been done. Well, I was frankly surprised that I was able to hang in there as long as they let me. There is the, is the key to this. If it was a Russian hack, Comey would have been certain to go seize those DNC commuters and make sure that he investigated and did forensics. What forensics uh, Clapper is referring to is beyond me. He didn't do any. And the reason that they didn't do any is because there was no Russian hack. It was a copy onto a thumb drive, 
and it was gotten that way. These DNC emails is what I'm talking about. It was gotten that way to Julian Assange. We know that from the forensics that we and other independent investigators have done. That's how it happened. And of course, uh, the bottom line, of course, is that these emails were genuine, and they showed that Hillary Clinton had stolen the nomination from Bernie Sanders. I mean, very, very embarrassing, but <laughs> you can't blame the Russians for that, can you? Oh, you can, apparently. <laughs>